All right, guys. It is an unbelievably, spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in East Bumblefuck, New Mexico on this spectacularly gorgeous late spring day in the end times. It is Saturday morning, June 3rd, and uh, so here I go again doing what I try to do every Saturday morning, which is uh, to bring you my weekly Clueless Moron Roundup rant, where I bring you, well, today it looks like 33 examples of how this planet's collective IQ is heading directly, directly into the toilet. And uh, good Lord, I mean, wh where to begin? Obviously, I can't spend uh, the time I would like to on any of these stories. Uh, now, the opening story originally was going to be my lead-off story, and this was announcing uh, that clueless, clueless fucking bitch, Kathy Griffin, a name I had never heard in my entire life, Till earlier this week, as the single, the single biggest clueless fucking moron of 2017. But I thought I'd gotten it off my chest on <clears throat> on Thursday. <coughs> but no, uh, the, the stupid clueless bitch just has to continue braying her cluelessness all over uh and so i'm back again like where does this woman end this is many versions of this claiming bullying by trump over her gruesome joke griffin says she is standing up for free speech Morning. Morning. Uh, guys, I, I'm not just going to sit here and, and, and repeat the same rant that I had on Thursday, but uh, I, I did have to, by uh, th this great defender of, of free speech, uh, as I am, but y you know what goes along with the, uh, you know, the First Amendment is it, just some basic fucking bar uh, of just common decency. You know, uh, this fucking bitch ha has done more damage to the community of people uh, pointing out that Donald Trump needs to go. And, and I don't fucking appreciate this, this fucking bitch. Uh, coming on here, uh, I anyway, I just want to read one quote. I'm so sick and tired uh, of this fucking cunt. All right, this is her, a part of her tear-filled interview about how T Donald Trump's family is bullying me. <laughs> My poor, poor, pitiful, I'm just a little 110-pound, 56-year-old woman being bullied by Donald Trump. And anyway... Part of this, Griffin said most of the criticism, most of the criticism against her stemming from her post is because she is a woman. That's the direct quote from Yahoo News. Because she is a woman, this, this, is, this is Kathy Griffin getting to the bottom of it. Why... Uh, people like the old misogynist Hambone are criticizing her for this. Quote, Cut the crap. This would not happen to a guy. I have been living with this my whole career. Griffin said, adding that she was used to, quote, older white guys trying to keep me down my whole life. I would like to kick this fucking clueless bitch down into the goddamn curb, but I don't need to because she's already done it. She can kiss goodbye her career and uh, hallelujah. 
Anyway, I have wasted enough breath on this clueless fucking bitch of the year, Kathy Griffin. And I've got 32 other stories, so I better uh, just, just head on into it. Now, of course, guys, the number one story of the week was, uh, was not just Donald Trump pulling out of the uh, Paris Climate Accord, which, of course, I have been cheering him on uh, since he made the, uh, uh, made the promise in his campaign. But it's more the reaction, the reaction of all of the clueless fucking morons on every, every part of the dial weighing in on, uh, on Donald Trump uh, destroying the planet. Uh, it is Donald Trump's fault that uh, climate change is, is going to take down the planet. Uh, I, I just had to pick one. This was my particularly favorite protest of Donald Trump. Buildings shine green to protest Trump's Paris decision. Cities across the world protested President Trump's announcement that the U.S. will withdraw from the Paris Agreement by illuminating buildings in green lights. <laughs> Guys, uh, if, if there is anybody uh, on listening to this rant who does not see the absolute hilarity of protesting Donald Trump killing the planet by uh, going out and buying probably millions of green light bulbs to shine all over skyscrapers around the world. Uh, the, 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 these limp dick mainstream environmentalists, clueless fucking morons, actually, with, with no trace of irony apparently, as far as I can tell, with no trace of irony, the way to protest a planet eater is, is to go out and, and, and waste a bunch of electricity lighting up skyscrapers. Anyway, uh, okay guys, as I say, what do I have? 31 more. I can, I can see where this... Uh, uh, th this this rant could go on for three fucking hours. Uh, all right, several Alert Tribes members sent me this story. Uh, oh shit! Now uh, my computer is eating it. I think it's about uh, what was this clueless fucking moron's name? I'm sure he is a some Republican. I think he was a senator or a congressman. His name might have been Wahlberg, Tim Wahlberg, getting up there, and, and uh, I guess this was all part of the Donald Trump pulling out of Paris, uh, talking about that now he does believe that climate change is real, and he also believes that humans are at least a large part of it. So after making that clear, he says, I believe this was Tim Wahlberg since my computer ate it, uh, but don't worry, God will take care of climate change if it becomes a real problem. So we don't have to worry about Donald Trump because we have God and that he, of course, he will take care of it. Well, she will take care of it. Uh, she's already taking care of it, but anyway, from God taking care of climate change, where are we? Oh yes, as long as we're talking about God taking care of climate change, this was actually a week old news. I uh, don't remember even if I mentioned it last week, but it certainly bears repeating as long as we're talking about God taking care of climate change. There is one God guy out there on the planet, not quite so sure that God's going to take care of this one. This would be Pope Francis uh, talking about the clueless moron. 
Uh, the clueless moron Pope Francis gives President Trump a copy of his 192-page encyclical on climate change. Apparently, Pope Francis is completely unaware of the fact that Donald Trump barely has the attention span to, to read a 140-character tweet, much less 192-page encyclical on climate change. Did Pope Francis, on any level, think that Donald Trump was going to read this goddamn thing? Okay, let's see. Uh, let's do a little fact-checking on the mainstream media. Fact-checking. This is from Reuters, Reuters News's fact box. U.S. carbon emissions seen declining over the next decade. This is according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration uh, report being reported by Reuters News here in the mainstream media on Yahoo News. In case you were unaware of this, U.S. carbon emissions fell last year to a 24-year low and are expected to continue declining over the next decade. But uh, that knee slapper uh, can only be eclipsed by this one. U.S. unemployment rate hits a 16-year low as the unemployment rate in America as of this week is at a 16-year low. It is, is uh, what is the unemployment rate? 4.3%. Uh, is there anybody on planet Earth, especially uh, Donald Trump, believing for one millisecond this unadulterated horseshit from the Bureau of Labor Statistics? that the unemployment rate in the United States of America is 4.3%. I'm, I'm pretty sure Donald Trump, uh, in his campaign, uh, was laughing about this unadulterated horseshit, but you better believe that Donald Trump will be taking full credit for this unadulterated horseshit. All right, now, how many times have we said that, uh, you, you know, Donald Trump has killed all of NASA's funding for climate change research here on planet Earth, but as I reported last Saturday, uh, the mission to Mars, anything that NASA has to do about colonizing Mars, is alive and well in the Trump budget. Many stories about this other program, alive and well in the NASA budget under Donald Trump. NASA spacecraft will aim straight for the sun next year. D D D. I, I had a whole rant about this story a couple of days ago. Humans pose ever bigger extinction risk to animals. That just bears repeating. So this article, as I say, I did a whole rant. It, it, it does this laundry list why pretty much every single species uh, of at least large mammal left on this planet that we share this planet with is headed directly into oblivion for one reason due to one species, but don't worry, uh, we can save the planet if we would just eat more veggies.
Uh, again, I don't need to. If there, if there's, if there is one person on this planet believing at this point we can feed 10 billion people uh, on planet Earth and have no effect on uh, on every other species we share this planet with if we just all become vegans. Is, is, there one, is, is there one clueless fucking moron on this planet believing that horse shit for one minute? If so, uh, I, I'm, I'm just embarrassed for you. Anyway, what were Barack and Michelle Obama celebrating this week? To the cheers of the mainstream media, several articles on this one, congratulating Farrakh and Michelle for shelling out $8.1 million for the mansion they have been renting since leaving the White House. Congratulations, uh, Farrakh and Michelle, for setting an example to the rest of the world by buying an $8 million mansion. I'm sorry, I don't have the square footage, the number of bedrooms, the number of swimming pools, bowling alleys, home theaters. Anyway, moving on. So uh, now that the, the Obamas have, uh, have purchased their $8 million uh, dollar mansion. They're probably in the market for a new car, and here's one that would I think I think uh, Barack and M Michelle those save the planet. Uh, you know our save the planet environmentalist agenda. President and his eight million dollar mansion. This is a perfect car for them to ride around in. This would be Rolls Royce's latest car cost. Twelve point eight million dollars. Twelve point eight million dollars. And uh, as long as Michelle is out shopping for eight million dollar mansions, maybe twelve million dollar cars, she might want to grab up a Hermes white crocodile Birkin handbag while she's out shopping as we see uh, I, I appreciate Alert Tribes member Michael for suggesting this for today's rant world's most expensive handbag sells in Hong Kong for over three hundred seventy seven thousand dollars this crocodile uh, skin handbag. I, if you don't know what a Birkin is, apparently <clears throat> Birkin uh, was a uh, named after singer Janet Jane Birkin. Uh, singer British singer Jane Birkin has asked Hermes to remove her name from its crocodile skin handbag after she learned of the cruel methods used to make the fashion accessory. Thank you, Jane Birkin, but apparently uh, they're still using her name. Let's see, I know we have, you've heard this story by now, and, and guys, I don't even, you know, I'm trying to put together how all of this unfolded, being a former taxi driver myself. And, and, and I know it's not cool to, to blame the victim, but, but come on. 16-year-old girl accused of hacking Uber driver to death. This is a 34-year-old man. Uh, a 16-year-old girl walked this is Eliza Wozni. <clears throat> a 16-year-old girl walked out of a suburban Chicago Walmart holding a machete and a knife she had stolen, climbed into an Uber car, and began hacking at the driver. The driver 
died of his wounds on Tuesday, uh, a prosecutor said that Eliza simply climbed into the car driven by 34-year-old Grant Nelson and stabbed and hacked him to death. Uh, the, uh, the prosecution portrays Wasney as a calm girl who nonchalantly could be seen walking through Walmart, the knives in her hands before she walked outside without paying. I, I, anyway, guys, I, I need to move along. I, I could sit here uh, for a long time trying to dissect. Th these are the 16-year-olds that we are leaving the planet to, to save the planet. This is the, the, the generation that is going to clean up the mess that we left for them. I'm sure you've heard of this uh, story already. Celebrating summer. How are we celebrating summer already? I guess this was Memorial Day weekend. Ten-year-old boy flies off water slide on opening day of new amusement park. Just 90 minutes after its grand opening, a 10-year-old boy was thrown from a water slide at a brand new California amusement park. This is the Emerald Plunge in the new amusement park called the Wave. The, this, the, the Wave cost an estimated $43 million to build. Uh, the boy hit the pavement with a thud then astonishingly the kid bounced back up D -d -d. I, there, there's really nothing how, how can I how, how can I add anything to this headline it's a fidget spinner it's an iPhone case no it's both and now you can play with your fidget spinner while you're interacting with your iPhone. I, you know, I wonder if Guy McPherson has read this story. Uh, if, if anybody does not understand what the collapse of a planet, the social collapse of a planet building up uh, is going to look like, it's already happening, and it's happening on a commuter train in Oregon. Now, obviously, this this stabbing of this fucking uh, he, he, this fucking clueless moron stabbing these two guys to death and sending a third one into the hospital uh, up there on a on a commuter train in suburban Portland, Oregon. This is what was going on in the minutes after so you've got a picture what we've got here you've got a picture two men lying dead in a puddle of blood a third one fighting for his life on a commuter train and what does fellow passenger uh, what is his name George Shagany I guess George Shagany how did George Shagany react to this uh, unfolding scene of the collapse of uh, society? Uh, police in Portland, Oregon arrested a man on Friday morning for stealing the wedding ring and backpack of Ricky Best. Uh, police had released or surveillance 
footage on Thursday of a man carrying Beth's backpack leaving the commuter train shortly after the stabbing. Shagany was found still wearing the victim's ring, which he apparently had removed from Beth's finger after the stabbing. Police also recovered his backpack, but his wallet was missing. Anybody who does not understand what it's going to look like uh, as, as the uh, uh, collapsitarians all, uh, what is Guy always telling us to do? Pursue excellence. This is one damn good peek into how all of the loving people are going to be pursuing excellence in the end times. Okay, guys, uh, I, I'm only halfway through. I'm simply going to read the headlines for the rest of these stories. Scientists are accidentally helping poachers drive rare species to extinction. I've actually had rants on that before. Here is tragic measles vaccine blunder kills 15 children in South Sudan. Uh, I, you know, right there, guys, uh, isn't, you know, giving a measles vaccine to a child in South Sudan. Uh, the term pissing in the wind is what comes to mind. Uh, anyway, for all the compute, all the uh, conspiracy wackos talking about Bill Gates uh, depopulation agenda in sub-Saharan Africa, well, there you go. Uh, okay, what is Donald Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr., up to this week? Donald Trump Jr. leads campaign to overturn restrictions on gun silencers despite mass shooting fears. This is Donald Trump going to work for the National Rifle Association, going after those pesky gun silencers. Okay, several versions of this story. Serial killer who murdered and raped teenage girls now volunteers at her children's school. Okay, what are the local mail carriers up to? Mail carrier feeds meatballs filled with nails to dog on her route. All right, what are some of the parents of the week? Here is man gets 70 years for throwing his infant son off bridge. Quote, the utter depravity speaks for itself. <clears throat> Here we have the mother of the week arrested after locking her kids inside the trunk, the trunk of her car to shop at Walmart. Let's see, I think this was Wendy's. I don't have it. Uh, anyway, one of these hamburger chains. I believe Wendy's. Woman arrested after allegedly macing employees at fast food chain over stale french fries. Here is Alaska man shoots himself in the head. Bullet passes through, striking girlfriend in the chest, killing her. Anyone who does not believe in the magic bullet theory, there it is. Okay. Chased peacocks to cosmic cows Indian judge 
baffles with his theories. He was one of what he's one of the things he, he's talking about is how uh, peacocks are celibate that they impre that female peacocks get pregnant by drinking the tears of male peacocks. This is how you get elected to be a judge in India. Uh, I should do a whole rant on this, not sure why it uh, appeared in this rant. I just thought it bared uh, mentioning, hallelujah, this woman's viral post about being a bad mom is so relatable. Yep, here we have, this is what happens to you when you don't have sex for five years. Okay, we got three more. This barista's, that's a coffee maker at Starbucks, this barista's confessions about what really went down at work will horrify you. No doubt. From Starbucks to Taco Bell. Taco Bell has a new breakfast salsa. And we have questions. But we are going to wrap up with this story. Everything you need to know about Bachelor in Paradise Season 4. Here is everything you need to know about Bachelor in Paradise Season 4. Okay, and with that, your old doomsday bachelor in paradise, your old misogynist bachelor in paradise, Hambone, is going to wrap up this week's clueless moron roundup rant because it is a spectacularly gorgeous day, and I need to get out there and enjoy it while I still can. And uh, I will advise you to do the same. Sounds like we have a dog fight in paradise. Bye, guys.